are currently in Landon's drop-off line. Say hi. You gonna say hi? Are you tired? A little. Are you excited for school? Yeah. You excited for school? Yeah. What's wrong? <laughs> um, it is almost nine. I am bringing Lana to school right now. Asher went to school, uh, not school, sorry. Asher went to work with daddy this morning because I actually have physical therapy. So I don't know if you guys remember, like, uh, over a month ago, I went to the hospital. I think it was like 28 weeks, maybe 29 weeks. I went to the hospital because I was in so much pain in my legs. I was getting like this numbness in my legs. And because I was having that feeling really bad, I still have it on both my legs, but pretty much more my um, left leg than my right. Um, but I get like the numbness down to my toes and everything like that. So they finally put me up for physical therapy. But the physical therapy has taken this long that it's literally, I am 30, I'm about to be 35 weeks pregnant. And I'm only now just starting to get in. So I really wanted to cancel this appointment. I didn't even want to go because I just think at this point, like it's pointless. I only have two weeks left of this pregnancy before I get induced. But if I need it after baby, I'd rather just like have it already in the system. So I'm just going to suck it up and go. But Cameron had to take Asher to work with him this morning because my appointment is at 10.30. I have to be there at 10.15. And I dropped Lana off at 9. So he was like, I'll just take him with me instead of me dropping Lana off and then trying to meet with Cameron to drop Asher off and then go to my appointment and then pick up Asher. It was just too much. So he's like, just have him come with me. So I packed Asher, like his little backpack of his like tablet, a coloring book, his like lunch and stuff, and snacks just in case he's hungry. Um, but I'm going to go to my appoint, uh, drop Lana off. And then I think I'm actually going to go, um, I'm going to go to Trader Joe's, I think, before my appointment. Because it's like 12 oh, yeah, minutes away. Trader Joe's is like a, a place. It is, it's like a grocery store. No, no, no. Oh, to eat? Yeah. No, it's a grocery store. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's because there's one like 10 minutes away from my physical therapy and I'm probably going to get there a little early so I'll probably like quickly browse Trader Joe's really just depends on about the time that I get down there I'm hoping that I can go to Trader Joe's I need fruit um for the kids anyways I ordered like a hundred dollars of groceries and that's it yesterday because now that landing in school we're not going through as many snacks throughout the day because you know like usually like snacks 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 we're not going through as many right now and being able to actually pack his snacks is just like easier so um i'm going to i didn't want to get any fruit because i ordered from walmart and i just didn't want to get any fruit from there because lately the fruit's been kind of yucky um so i'm gonna go to trader joe's see what kind of fruit they have anything just kind of browse i love trader joe's i'm gonna see if they have any fall stuff now that it's um the end well we're getting closer to the end of october August, it's gonna be October, end of August. So the fall stuff should come out. I'm excited. I want a pumpkin creamer, um, pumpkin anything pumpkin, creamer. mama wants. So we're gonna check it out. Hopefully, wait, wait, does the pumpkin creamer make pumpkin? No, it's for my coffee. Oh. Mm. And I think this week my mom and I are gonna do I pumpkin patties on Wednesday. I'm excited. You cannot sit in the front seat, oh. not until you're much older. Oh, when you're much older, um. Yeah, I am feeling very pregnant. I am, I've been actually having a lot more contractions lately and a lot more pressure down below. So I'm almost convinced that I may actually have this baby naturally prior to induction. That would be wishful thinking. Um, also, thought I broke my water the other day, but I think I just peed myself <laughs> without realizing. Um, I think I had like maybe like a slow like urine leak almost. Uh, but I swore I broke my water, but, you know, it wasn't my water. So, yeah, that's the plan today. Um, going to go my physical therapy, Trader Joe's. I'm going to show you guys the nursery because I finally finished it. Um, cleaned everything. I deep cleaned my house upstairs all day yesterday. Um, so all the bathrooms are cleaned. 
The nursery's all cleaned and set up. I just gotta bring down the bassinet. I think I'm gonna move the couch today. Um, it's a futon, so it's not too heavy. Um, and organize that. So today should be a pretty fun vlog. So we're nesting today, Trader Joe's. I'm excited, it's Monday. We're gonna start a good week. I kinda wanna make a pumpkin bread today too. So if I don't find anything pumpkin related, dessert wise at Trader Joe's, I'm probably gonna make pumpkin bread today. Um, Wednesday I'm making pumpkin Wait, patties pumpkin with my mom. Bread? Kinda like banana bread, but it's made with pumpkin. It's really yummy. Really oh, yummy. Oh, huh, it is Roblox. But yeah, so let's do this. You wanna say bye? Bye. Say I'm gonna have a fun day at school. He hates school. He loves school. He hates leaving for school. He hates having to be at school all day long. But we're literally about to start walk driving in. So. So we went to Trader Joe's, got a bunch of goodies, um, kind of excited. Um, I ended up finding apple cider donuts. I'm so excited. I want to eat one right now. Um, we are going to head to my appointment right now. Um, I'll show you guys everything else I got when we get home. Um, it should be okay in the car because it's actually kind of cooler out right now. Um, I think anything that needs to like, be like in the fridge really, so... Should be okay, but I really want to try one of these donuts. Um, we're gonna go to my apartment. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We actually end up spending perfect amount of time, 20 minutes in there. So now we're gonna head to my appointment, which it's like 12 minutes from here. So wow, these donuts are so yummy. I have to give Cameron one when I need him. Pick up landing. I mean, Asher, but yeah, we're gonna go to my appointment. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, physical therapy went good. Um, I got to get some exercises and I'm a little like my hips are a little off so they really truly think it's something with like my I forget the word um basically like your hips are like it's just from pregnancy so we're gonna try some physical therapy um she wants me to go um she wants me to go twice a week but I was like honestly going once a week is hard enough correlated at my next appointment to be the same day that I have an ultrasound down here which is across the street so it'll be perfect. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. The lady at the front desk when she went to go check me out afterwards, she's like, 34 weeks? She's like, I'm seven weeks and I don't always, I wish I looked like that. Um, but 34 weeks, I look very large and in charge. Um, but it's so funny when other people don't think I look that pregnant. So I'm like, I feel huge. Um, but yeah, we're on our way now to go pick up Asher. I'm so excited. I like miss him because he left so early. He left at like 7.45 this morning, almost 8 o'clock. And I miss him. Like He's like my little partner in crime. Like He's always with me. So I feel a little sad that he's not with me. But we're going to go pick him up at Daddy's Jaw. And then 
we're gonna head home and I'll show you guys what I got at Trader Joe's and then I wanna show you guys the nursery because it's so cute. So let's go pick up a little baby. We picked up, say hi. <laughs> we just picked him up and he's so excited. He was like, didn't wanna leave. He wants to stay at work with daddy. Huh? Are you cold? Ash, are you cold? Um, we just picked up camera, um, land, uh, we just picked up Asher, <sighs> but it's like, we're like 40 minutes from home, so I'm actually going to stop and get some Chick-fil-A quick, I'm starving, I didn't even eat breakfast this morning, I brought myself a cereal bar, but I didn't end up eating it, so, um, I'm just going to grab some Chick-fil-A, um, he just finished eating lunch with dad. I'm not going to say exactly what Cameron does for work on here, but he was able to put Asher in one of the, um, like, little, like, four-wheeler type things. Uh, not four-wheelers, just more of, like, I don't know, it's like those off-roading things that you can, like, I don't know. But, and he was so excited, and I was like, Cameron, you put him on that with just, like, a lot belt? Like, you're freaking crazy, because like, we stayed in the parking lot, like, their parking lot, so, but... Asher loved it, of course. He's like the epitome of a boy. Like, he is boy, boy, boy. Loves cars, dirt, all that crap. So, um, he did that. So, he had fun today. And I am going to get some Chick-fil-A. And then we're going to head home. I'm so tired already. Like, whenever I, like, have to run errands or sit in the car for a while, I just get so freaking tired. But he's going to take a nap. I know he's saying he doesn't want to. But Cameron said that he was falling asleep at the desk. It's 12 o'clock, so he is tired. Um, but, yeah. I'm so excited for some Chick-fil-A. I just got a sandwich and a drink and some fries. I'm probably going to give him the fries. Hello. I just have an order pickup for Ruthie. That's Ruthie. See? Ruthie. And did you want to change anything? No, thank you. Right. 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 Thank you. Sleep, obviously. So let's do a quick Trader Joe's haul. So as you know, we got the apple cider donut. Cameron tried one when we were and I went to pick up Asher and he said they were so good. Um, I don't want to, I can't remember if I tried these ones from Trader Joe's. I know I've tried like the Takis. I think I've tried these and really liking them. But I bought the Trader Joe's rolled corn tortilla chips with chili and lime flavored. You know, everyone loves these, so let's pick it up. I got some shredded lettuce. Um, <laughs> tomorrow, I'm actually gonna go to the aquarium and to uh, this like, it's like a dragon castle type thing um, with Asher after I drop Lane off at school um, and after my doctor's appointment tomorrow with my friend Natalie and her son Eli. So that should be fun. I'm gonna make myself a sandwich tomorrow and I'm gonna like make it all nice, nice. Um, Landon requested raspberries. So I got him some raspberries. Um, I found some nectarines, nectarines, peaches. Nectarines is just a naked peach, but uh, without the fuzz. Nectarines and peaches have been my baby's craving. Um, and these just looked so yummy. So had to pick up some nectarines. Next thing I actually found were for the kids. Um, they're the Trader Joe's PB&J um, snack duo. It's a crispy peanut butter filled wafer stick with a raspberry fruit dip. And it was like three and change um, for six. So I thought that was like a really cool snack. I think they'll enjoy. Then I found these for the kids. 
Um, they're the Trader Joe's Organic Blueberry Apple Flavored Fruit Leather, and then I got an Apple Wildberry Flavored. They were like 49 cents each, so I just grabbed four of them. My kids love fruit leathers, so grab those. Great alternative to a fruit snack. Um, then I also really wanted a cantal uh, cantaloupe, um, so I grabbed the uh, the Sugar Kiss ones because these are sweeter. Not a huge cantaloupe fan. I hate cantaloupe. <laughs> Asher hates cantaloupe. Actually, I think Asher is starting to like it a little bit, and then Cameron doesn't like cantaloupe. Um, I honestly can't stomach the smell of cantaloupe, but my son really wanted it, so Mama bought it. Um, and then lastly, we got some cookies. Um, the Trader Joe's cookies are just so freaking good. I like the original like little cookies that they have, but this one is the dark chocolate chunk and almond cookies. I've never tried these ones before. Um, I usually get like the regular chocolate chip, the one that's like, made with um, I think they were like coconut instead of it's like I don't know how to coconut fit to it, but I want to try this one. I love almond anything. Um, these are really good. So, so we got Trader Joe's. I spent like thirty-four bucks, I think. Thirty-one dollars. Um, not bad. We've got three different kinds of fruits, which we needed. Um, some little snacks. I love Trader Joe's. Um, I wish we actually had one closer to us because if we did, I'd probably go there more often. But I don't, so I don't really go there that often, but that's okay. Um, now that I know that there's actually one closer to the hospital, I may like stop there. I wish I knew sooner. I'm gonna go put this stuff away. Honestly, Asher's sleeping, it's like one o'clock now. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit now, or like lie down for a little bit because my. Um, Really me. Um, just from like sitting in the car for so long because you know between appointments and everything um i'm gonna click clean up the kitchen quick put my stuff away i think i'm gonna lay down for just like a little bit and then get doing some stuff i don't know um i these appointments lately like between going to my high-risk doctor, going to my prenatal appointments, now physical therapy once a week, just seems like a lot, and I just feel like I'm always in the car. And it doesn't help that all my appointments are all the way downtown, which is like 30 minutes away. 30 minutes isn't a lot, but when you're constantly in the car driving, it just ends up adding up. So, yeah, I'm gonna go, I need to pee really bad. So <laughs> I'm gonna go do that, and then um, clean up, hang out for a little bit. I may watch The Summer I Turned Pretty because I I, I wanted to wait because I've read the books years ago. Like, I think I was in high school maybe when I read the first book. It was a long time ago, I feel like. But I'm rereading the books because I know the shows came out, but I'm rereading the books because like I want to be like re-familiar with it. I, like I said, I read it a long time ago, but I want to be re-familiar. So I've been reading, rereading it and I'm done with book one, I'm on book two. So I started watching the show. I was gonna wait until I was on like maternity leave, like once I had the baby, like something to do, like when the baby's napping and both my kids are in school, but um, I started it and it's so good. Like I don't usually even watch TV at night before bed, I usually always read. And last night Cameron texted me, he was upstairs playing Xbox and he texted me and goes, it's interesting to see you be normal and watch TV in bed instead of reading your book. Because he always makes fun of me for reading instead of like watching a movie or a show because that's not me. But The Summer I Turned Pretty is so good. If you haven't watched it, watch it. But if you haven't read the books, I recommend reading the books first because I think that's like when you get the true authentic story. Um, obviously a lot of things are kind of different in the show because that's what happens when you have a show. But um, the books are really, really good. I just came to grab myself another cookie. I ended up laying down way longer than I wanted to. I pretty much had to go pick up Landon now. But I'm having like, so much pain, like, my right side, like, kind of, not my rib, but, like, kind of near my rib. 
and it's just like all up here and it's like super tight like I worked out like it really really hurts I'm not really sure if it's from physical therapy or what but it hurts I wanted to show you so my house is like slowly starting to become a baby house now <laughs> don't mind this the kids are playing this morning but we finally got a swing my friend Bianca is letting us borrow it and so now baby's gonna be rocking right here so cute we moved the couch because the ottoman used to be on this side but we moved it to that side so that way we, we can just put the dogs here for now and then the swing over here so exciting and then here we have the playpen this is actually going to be put, getting put away um i just wanted to test out this um cover on the bottom portion um and then i just want to air it out but i'm actually going to close this up and put it away because i just don't really feel like i need it right now um but it will be good to have then i'll show you guys upstairs I also set up and cleaned up the whole guest room, bathroom, and everything. I had to take a breather because I'm like super out of breath. But the baby's nursery is going to be with the guest room just because I don't. He's not going to be in here for a while. Um, and I do have like a bunch of family that's coming, and I just wanted to have a spot for when we have family over and stuff. So I do have it set up, and yeah. I also cleaned everything in here because when I go in to get induced, I was going to have my kids stay at my parents' house. But then it dawned on me, what am I supposed to do with my dogs? <laughs> so, um, unfortunately, I have three dogs that you need to be with them overnight just because, you know, they need to be let out and stuff. And I don't want them to have, like, an accident if, like, they have to wait too long or, if they, God forbid, they have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So... My parents are going to sleep here, and then um, depending on when I get induced, I'm, I'm telling my mom to not come until the morning just because I do feel like there's a possibility that if I get induced at night, I won't have him till like, the next day. Um, so I told her I'm just going to keep her updated because I do want her here, and I don't want her to have to, like, sleep overnight. So we'll see, um, but my stepdad will be here, so with the kids so um yeah set up the room um but yeah so we have over here <laughs> we have his crib um obviously this needs to go in the car this needs to go downstairs so once i move I the didn't get that could you try again well so once i move the futon into the office i'm gonna bring this downstairs already and it just has his snuggle me and the hatch which i need to set up and i've already brought down my diaper caddy and rolling cart so how cute is this his little booties i got these at tj maxx i think i showed you guys this in the vlog already um and then my mom actually bought this a while ago for the baby and then i'm not gonna keep these shelves here once he's sleeping in here but this was already here this mirror and these shelves were already here from when the boys used to have this room so i've just kept it here for now because i really can't put the crib anywhere else in this room so it's gonna stay here for now once he starts sleeping in here, I'll probably end up removing the bottom shelf in the mirror. May keep the top shelf still so I can, like, have a camera. But don't come at me. It's not going to stay like this. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we just have this. And we have, like, a cute little Winnie the Pooh. I'm obsessed. This little car seat. We have just, like, a little plant right here. Um, and then in here is his little closet unfortunately we have some military gear in here that we need to keep um because our house is big but it's not big enough where we don't actually have a lot of like um extra storage for like certain things like this like in our closet downstairs but these are his little shoes and sleep socks little sweaters um in here i actually bought this for the boys room but then i just put it in here um burp cloths bibs some Stuff that he probably won't be using for a while, like teethers and stuff. Um, what else? Oh, and in here I just have, let's see, I can't even open it. In here I have um, some swaddles. So, not swaddles, uh, baby carriers. We just have some books over, whoa. 
some books over here. And then I just have all his clothes in here. Um, I got this off Amazon. It It's like the collapsible bin, so it's like pretty cheap, but it was like 60 something dollars. I think it was like 60 something. I'll link it for you guys if you guys are curious, but it was actually able to fit, well, quite a bit in here. So I have like his like onesies, his pants, his PJs, and I have swaddles in here. And then we just have like some preemie clothes just in case. Both my kids had to wear preemie, so. And then some towels. And then I have my, some of my pump stuff, like extra. So I have that in here, and then this is all just crap. I have to finish filling up my diaper bag, but we got a bunch of goodies that I got, like this is from, I got in a bump box. Um, great subscription, it got me a lot of things that I needed. Another baby carrier, but in here we just cleaned his room. His bathroom's all clean. Um, I do need to reclean my mirror. I use like some kind of different kind of a uh, spray. And I swear, camera put something in it. And it kind of looks a little funky right there. Okay. And then in here we have his little bathtub. We're ready. I just have to get um, baby soap still. Um, I actually end up getting some from Tubby Todd, just waiting for it to come in. And I think that will be really good for him. So, got that. I'm super excited. I feel like everything's starting to like come together. Ah, I, like, I still can't believe I'm having another baby. Um, but yeah, like, so little. Like, you forget. You forget how little babies are because now my kids are three and five. Well, almost four. Um, and they're just like so big now. And so you did. So yeah. Um, I just need to move. Like I said, I'm just gonna sit down because I'm really tired. Um, but like I said, we're just going to need to move the futon into the front room, and then I'll bring some of that stuff downstairs. I'll show you guys what I have in my room so far now too. Um, you ready to go pick up brother? So I have our dresser here. Uh, and then this is his changing pad. It's really high up. So we didn't consider how tall our dressers were. Um, and I really want to put his changing pad in our room just because upstairs, downstairs, I feel like we're going to be changing him down here more often. So what I need Cameron to do is actually, these are from Target. Um, but the bottom has like these feet. And I want to see if Cameron can just take the feet off because it will bring it down quite a bit um and see if that will work he's just nervous that if we bring it down that we're not gonna be able to open our drawers but i think it should be fine because we have like this lip right here but we're gonna try that <laughs> if that doesn't work then i will have to just move i have an extra dresser in my closet and i'll just have to move the dresser here which i just don't really want to do then I have um, this little basket. I still have to finish organizing this, you guys. But this is going to be his drawer um, for changing stuff. I got to move this Xbox to that side so I can make this side his changing area. Um, just gonna, I'd rather have his butt that way. <laughs> just so in case he like poops or anything. Um, my Landon one time pooped all over Cameron and he got everywhere, like projectile. So I'm going to have it on this on that side so it's relatively clear zone um but yeah I just have to finish filling this up I'm gonna put like swaddles um extra like burp cloths obviously his diaper caddy stuff over here um this is I just brought downstairs for now but my bobby this needs to go in my hospital bag all this needs to go in my hospital bag but then I just have like breast pads and all this stuff and then my pump stuff down here again I need to organize it because, I don't know, I feel like I just have time, but I kind of don't, but I do. But then over here, I also have another little diaper caddy with diaper creams and all that stuff. Just got to, like, organize it. But just with all these appointments, I feel like I don't have enough time. So, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Um, I really need to go ahead and sterilize all of, like, my bottles and pump stuff. Two, 
that's like my next big thing that I need to do. So we'll do that. But for now, this is what we have going on. I got to move the futon. Um, I kind of want to move it. So I kind of want to move it. But a piece of me kind of doesn't. And I kind of just want to like prop the bassinet over there anyways. Because in reality, he's going to be right next to my bed. So that way I can easily get up and grab him for the bassinet. Because um, I can also just squeeze him like right in here too. I don't know. Because like my kids use my room a lot um like at night they love to come in here and we have movie nights every night and if they eat anything in my room they eat it on the futon so I don't know yet we'll see what we're gonna do but we have to go pick up Landon now and I'm out of breath I have to finish packing my hospital bag too maybe I'll do a little bit of that today with you guys I'm not gonna go to the gym Cam's gonna go to the gym today I'm not going because I haven't been going for the past like Two weeks since Lana started kindergarten, I have I stopped going because he doesn't like to go after school because he's tired. So I made that my excuse, <laughs> but I do I can't wait to go work out again because I miss it. But we're gonna go pick up Landon and then we'll be right back.